Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the very impressive building from the game Fix It Felix Jr., which is, of course, from the movie Wreck It. Ralph. If you enjoy this build, please do remember to hit that like button as it really does help me and the channel out very, very much. And if you do manage to make it all the way to the end of this video, and this is quite a project, it's so big we can't even see it without me tilting the camera, then please share it with a friend. Sharing is caring. But without any further ado, let's get started. You're going to want to strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. This is a long tutorial. Before we begin, I can tell you that to make the building, we will require every single one of these materials that I have in both my hotbar and my inventory right now. We don't need that much stuff. And once you do have all of these materials, I also want you to make sure that you have enough room to make it. You need a 30 block by a 31 block area to make the building and the surrounding path that you may have saw at the start of the video. So please, pause the video if you need to, make sure that you have all the stuff, make sure that you've got enough room to make it, and then bleh, we can begin. So. If you have made this grid in your world, I'm going to recommend you come to the very front left hand corner of the grid. I want you to count to the right by one, two, and then inwards by one, two, three, four. Place a smooth sandstone block on the ground and go right of it by 25. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. We then want to go backwards from the 25th block by 24. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then we're going to extend this 24th block across the back of the build. The goal is to line it up with the front of the build all the way over there and then to connect it to the front of the build to form what is a rather large square. Now, once you have your rather large square, <laughs> we're then going to place upon the very first sandstone block that we did place. I want you to place 13, do I want to make sure that's correct? 13 sandstone blocks, so smooth sandstone, of course. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I then want you to make an indentation to the right using your sandstone. And then continue building upwards by an additional twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and then extend that 12th block inwards by one also. Continue building up on top of that 12th block by 12 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then extend that 12th block inwards by one again. Now, on top of the 12th block, place 14 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Extend that block to the right by 1. And then, we only got to do this one more time, guys. 10 more blocks on top of the original. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then extend that one to the right by 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. An alternate way to do this, because this works 
equally as well is to take the corner of the opposite side of the build and simply raise it upwards and then connect it across. Meaning that we could have done this, we could have extended this block all the way upwards and then we could have extended to the left. This would have saved a lot of hassle counting. But we should end up, and this is so impressive looking, we should end up with something that should look exactly like this. Now, we are now going to extend the back corners of the building upwards. We are going to build them upwards in a very similar fashion to what we have just done, until they are as high as the front of the building. And then we want to connect them to the front of the building, like this. Boop. And I'm also going to take this corner block, I'm going to take a small shortcut, I'm going to extend this across and then connect it to the opposite side of the building. You can It's a big giant square, so it's very easy to do this. And then we just want to connect the ground block, just to make sure that this is correct, we want to connect this all the way upwards. So you can see we're essentially building the outline for the giant tower. Ooh, there we go. So we want to have something which should even more impressively look like this. Now the next thing I would like us to do is I want us to take the singular blocks that we placed coming inwards on the front of the build and I want you to extend them to the right, every single one of them. I want you to extend all of them to the right to divide the building into its individual, uh, individual floors, which is pretty much what we're doing. So we're just going to divide the building up into about, I think it's about five parts, uh, the top, the bottom, and I'm pretty sure there's three middle sections. It doesn't really matter how many parts there are, as long as that we do end up with this exact shape right here. And you will notice it is not divided equally. That is on purpose, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry if it isn't all nice and even. This is what we are looking for indeed. Okay, I want you to now come to the very bottom of the building. And I want you to take the first sandstone block that we place. Disregard what we have on the floor. Alright, disregard what we have on the floor. I want you to take the very first block that we place. And I want you to extend it inwards by one block. And then we are going to follow this exact pattern. Oh, and it's going to get tedious. I want you to then leave a block coming upwards. Place one. Leave one. Place one. Leave one. Place one. So on and so forth. You can continue this pattern, it will fit in between the floors, you can continue this pattern coming all the way up the building. Now, the bad part about this is that this pattern will eventually, we're not going to do it now, will eventually have to be done on all four corners of the build. So, not only do we want to do that on the left side, but if we come all the way down to the bottom right side, we want to take this very bottom block, extend it inwards, leave one inwards, leave one inwards, leave one inwards. You guys get the point. I'm sure that you can do this. No problem. But you can see the problem, can't you? That we will eventually have to do this on both the sides and the back, and each corner has to be done twice, which means you've got to do this eight times in total. This is a very large building. That is not going to be fun, <laughs> but very necessary to make it look as the original building did in the film. So once you have this right here, we can now move on to some more slight details. So we're going to complete the entire front of the building first. I think that seems fair because that's where all of the detail is. I want you to take the very first block that you just extended inwards down at the base of the build, and we're going to extend it inwards by a further four using birchwood planks. One, two, three, four. Extend the fourth plank upwards until it eventually hits the uh, dividing row. I then want you to do this on the left side of the row, starting from the bottom. So, I want you to place an upside down birchwood stair. On top of it, two glass. One, two. On top of it, a regular birchwood stair. On top of that, a birchwood plank. On top of that, an upside down birchwood stair. And then two more glass. One, two. 
And then I want you to place a birchwood stair and then two birchwood planks. So we will end up with something that should look exactly like this. What I then want you to do is I want you to do literally the exact same thing on the opposite side of the row. So you can copy it or follow the instructions. So start from the bottom here, upside down stair, two glass, regular stair, plank, upside down stair, two glass, regular stair, two planks, like this. And the thing about this is that we now want to take what we have here and we want to extend the windows to the left and right by one row. Meaning, we take every single block that we've just placed and we extend every single block both to the left one and right one as well. So, I'm doing the left side first. I've almost done it actually, as a matter of fact. There we are. We want the same on the right side, so we want to take every single one of the blocks. I'd recommend doing it like this. If you if you simply place all of the stairs and then maybe all of the planks after that, and then all of the glass, then it, uh, it, it will go by a little bit faster. This is something that, oh, come on, I'm so bad at aiming. There we go. And another one. And up, oh, oh, there we go. So we want to have something which should look exactly like this. We will then have to fill in the entire left of this using virtual planks. So all of this to be filled in using virtual planks, just like this, up and down. There we are. I want you to fill in underneath the window as well, just down at the bottom. And then add two rows of virtual planks to the right of this, top to bottom. That would be one row, and then that would be an additional row as well. So all in all, we have something which looks exactly like this, which is cool. Now once you have done that, I want you to come to the right side, and I want you to do the same thing. So down on the right side, all the way down at the bottom right here, I want you to place four birchwood planks going left. One, two, three, four. Extend the fourth block all the way up to the tippity top like that. And then I want you to take the bottom plank and I want you to place an upside down uh, birch stair next to it. Two glass on top, one, two, and then a stair, birchwood plank, upside down stair on top, two glass, stair on top, two planks. And once you have managed to formulate that row, I want you to do the same on the opposite side of this. So on the opposite side, we're going to place all of these stairs and all of the glass that we have just next to us. And I'm not sure I really have to call out the materials because you guys are fully capable, I'm sure, of just looking directly to the right of you. What we then want to do is we, of course, want to extend all of the materials outwards one row, whether, that, uh, whether that's to the right or left, we want to do both of those as to extend the windows there we go as to extend the windows both left and right and uh, then we've got a nice double set of windows on both sides so that left side there and we also want to do the exact same thing here as well Now, once that has been complete, I want you to place planks all the way to the right of the windows. This just fills in the little gap that we have uh, just right at the windows in between the corner of the building. Now, left of the windows is a different story. We want to place two rows of virtual planks left of all of the windows. That would be one, and then the second one, of course, two right here, which gives us something which should look exactly like this. Now, here is where things get a little bit different. I want you to come all the way down to the bottom left row of birchwood planks. So, you know these two inward rows of birchwood planks we have on the left and the right? I want you to come all the way down to the bottom. And I want you to place a row of six sandstone coming up from the row. So like one, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. Place an additional row in from. 
So just one additional row in front of that. I then want you to take the top of the row and I want you to extend it to the right by, uh, I want you to extend it to the right by seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Connect it back to the build and then extend those two rows downwards until they are equal in length as the ones on the left. I want you to place sandstone blocks in the top left corner of the entrance and top right corner of the entrance. I then want you to place upside down birchwood stairs around those blocks, so underneath and to the insides of them, like this. I then want you to create a smooth sandstone area that sits directly underneath the entrance, which basically just means I just want you to fill in the little bottom bit underneath like this. Okay, next we're going to grab a couple of materials that uh, that we'll be needing. So I'm gonna I'm just going to dump for the moment, just for the moment, terracotta and the birchwood uh, planks and stairs. And I'm going to grab white wool and also blue wool. And I might even re-grab the terracotta and I'll show you why. So, behind the entranceway, I want you to place a row of blue wool that sits behind the sandstone and top set of stairs. Like this. Underneath that, I want you to place a row of white wool. And then backwards from the white wall, place blue concrete. Extend the blue concrete down by one row. Extend the blue concrete down on the left and the right. And split it up the middle. Place glass pane in the two remaining empty holes. And flip back onto the opposite side here and place a double birch fence in the middle that looks like door handles. I then want you to uh, place a row of upside down sandstone stairs above the area that we have just made, sitting on top of the, san the smooth sandstone. So, just like this. And then we're going to place birch fence on top of the uh, the upside down sandstone stairs. And then behind that we're going to place, and behind that I mean we're going to basically just, behind the stairs, place two rows of smooth sandstone like this, which will just make a nice little balcony area. And then still using the smooth sandstone, I want to create an entrance out onto the balcony. So on the left and right, I want to place three rows of stone. One, two, three. One, two, three, join it in the middle. I want you to place glass on the inside left and inside right, and then on top of the four middle blocks, place glass. And then we have gotten rid of a material that we need, but I'll tell you what we will do first. Once you have done that, we're just going to dip down a little bit, and we're going to extend the front of the building forwards until we have placed smooth sandstone that is equal in length to the smooth sandstone that we placed at the entrance. Uh, and what I mean by that is this. I then want to place an additional row of smooth sandstone in front of the entire front of the building. Like this. Just like that. And then I'm going to place two smooth sandstone rows on the left of the build. So this is going from front to back. And I know this takes a little bit of time, ladies and gentlemen, but we can get this done on the left and right. Because later on, the reason that we're doing this is we have to place fire escapes, which uh, require a little bit of a higher ground. And it also looks nice to kind of just put a frame on the build. And once you've done that on the sides, you can do the same thing on the back as well. You can extend the entire back of the build out by two rows, and you will find that you have almost filled out your grid once you've done that. So that's about as far back as the build goes. And on the front, the only thing that we have to do here is we just have to place a row of sandstone slab 
in front of the sandstone, uh, the smooth sandstone that is on the front. So you kind of get like a nice little step up to the building. Now once you've done that, I want you to grab the terracotta and underneath the bottom windows on the left and right side of the build, I want you to place a row of terracotta that spans the width of them. So that's on the left and this is the right. I'm then going to dump some materials. I don't really need sandstone slab, blue concrete or birch fence for the while. And I'm going to grab the birchwood planks, birchwood stairs and also the jungle leaves. I want to place jungle leaves on top of the center terracotta, left and right. And that is for the other side too, so center, left and right, just like this. And the small bit of detail that we have left just on this bottom bit is that we want to place uh, virtual planks around the window area that we have just uh, up on top of the out balcony entrance. I almost called it the alchemy entrance. So, so far, <laughs> this just shows you how big the build is. So far, we want to have something which should look exactly like this. Now, once you have got that sorted out, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to go to level two. So, level 2 is exactly how it sounds, the area just directly above. And uh, level 2 is kind of interesting. So, what are we going to do here? I want you to come up to the second level, grab the terracotta, and on top of this empty space that we have just directly on the left here, just up above the sandstone, I want you to place 5 terracotta going right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Place a row of terracotta going all the way up from the bottom to the top, like that. I want you to place going left of the bottom terracotta, I want you to place an upside down birchwood stair, two glass on top, regular birchwood stair, terracotta, I then want you to place an upside down birchwood stair, two glass on top, regular stair, terracotta. On the opposite side of what you have just made, I want you to place the same thing, meaning an upside down birchwood stair, two glass, regular stair, terracotta, upside down birchwood stair, two glass, regular stair, and then a terracotta. You might find this methodology very familiar. We then want to take all of this and we want to extend it left one by one row, and we will also be extending it right one by one row as well. You will find that as we go through the build, as we progress through the build, we will find very repetitive and very repeatable patterns. So just be, if you're finding that you're doing the same thing over and over again, that's the entire point. It is a very simple build, it is just a very large build but we do want to make sure that we have both of these. We want to make sure that we have this on both sides to form the same windows, by the way, that we have down below. It's just uh, these happen to be have uh, happen to have terracotta in between them. So once you have done that, what I want you to do is I want you to place a layer of terracotta surrounding the windows, meaning I want an entire row of terracotta on the right-hand side of the build, just directly next to all of the windows, and we're going to have terracotta just filling in the left side as well. So we're just going to completely fill in that left side, and then terracotta just to the right like that. We're going to place an entire row of smooth sandstone to the right of the terracotta like this. And then I want you to place, going right of this bottom sandstone here, I want you to, or even better, this is better, place two rows of terracotta right of that row of sandstone. So two full rows top to bottom of terracotta. I then want you to take the bottom of the terracotta and I want you to extend it right by four. One, two, three, four then place a sandstone, connect the sandstone upwards, and then place two rows of terracotta coming upwards from the end of the terracotta. So that would be one and two. Connect it together at the top like this. So you can see we are creating a very small gap in which to place the windows. If we start from the bottom here, we want to place a row of upside down birchwood stairs, 
two rows of glass, a row of birchwood stairs on top, terracotta, upside down stairs, two rows of glass like this, and then birchwood stairs, like that. What we then want to do going right of this is place an entire row of terracotta. We then want to fill in the gaps on the right between all of these sandstone. I'm then going to place terracotta at the top of this build, or at the top of this area, and the bottom of the area also. I'm going to place a row of terracotta on the right going from top to bottom. And then I am going to split the area up the middle using terracotta, like this. I'm even going to split the area in half this time to create four equal areas. I'm then going to place the same windows that we have done many times before. This is a row of upside down birchwood stairs. Two rows of glass directly on top of those stairs. And then regular birchwood stairs on top of the windows. And the same on top. Upside down stairs. And I'm going to place the regular stairs at the top uh, just uh, preemptively. And then I'm going to place the glass onto the sides of the blocks like this because it's a little bit easier. And we will end up with something that should look exactly like this. Now, here's the kicker with this particular build. The part that we have just done with all of the terracotta and all of the stairs and this particular section that we have just completed, we want to do this two more times. We want to do it to this section and this section. We want to do literally the exact same thing. So ladies and gentlemen, I am not going to do this part on recording. If you are having difficulty taking this section that we've just made and placing it above and then above again, I am going to link the time that you have to go to. Go to this time if you need a step-by-step -step instruction for the last part that we did to turn this part into it as well and then the part behind me as well follow to that time but if not if you can manage to just repeat this two more times then you don't need that so i'm going to do this myself right now just as a side note you might find it easier to perhaps place the terracotta in before the windows just food for four however you're going to do this it is very repetitive and i like to do things like this to make it slightly easier. You might want to place the terracotta first and then the windows afterwards if you know what you're doing with the pattern. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the next level of the building complete. You can see it is identical to the previous. And I will be doing this one more time and you'll have to do this too. The only difference here is that you'll have a few more rows of terracotta at the top than you did with this one. And this is what I'm talking about. You might be able to see at the top there, instead of just a singular row of terracotta as we have on the previous low, on the previous row, we have three rows of terracotta at the top here, which is much more in line with the actual building. I, I didn't just throw that in there for, for fun, but that is what we want to have. And of course, I've just got to place the windows now. Now, once you've completed that particular stage of the build, we should be left with something that should look exactly like this. And once again, guys, you may have to pause the video. You may have to go back in time, watch how the original was made, but I'm hoping that you guys will manage to do that without having to go back in the video and going through the video again. Hopefully, once you have done it once, you should be able to apply it two more times. That's, that's what I'm hoping, but please, if necessary, pause the video. We are going to be moving on right now, and we are going to do uh, the next part of the tutorial. So... Once that has all been completed, what are we going to be doing next, ladies and gentlemen? Well, once again, I want you to work your way all the way up to the top of the build this time. And we're going to start from the left here inside of this little indentation that we made. And with the birchwood planks, very important, birchwood planks, I want you to place two birchwood planks going right. 
One, two. And then place two glass pane. One, two. Birchwood plank. Two pane. And then I want you to place uh, four birchwood blanks. One, two, three, four. And then we're actually going to leave a gap of two. And then we're going to place uh, four more virtual planks. So that's going to be one, two, three, four. And then two glass, virtual plank, two glass, two virtual planks. So in the end, we'll end up with this very simple pattern right here. I want you to place, or raise up is a better term, I want you to raise up all of the birchwood planks until they are as high as the uh, as the actual building itself, pretty much. So I want you to raise up all the birchwood planks until they are as high as the top of the building. So just like this. Now, once you have indeed done that, I want you to, starting from the top of the build, I want you to place two rows of birchwood planks coming downwards, in between all of the empty spaces. So fill in the empty spaces by placing two rows of birchwood planks, each working their way down by two rows, just like that. Okay? Then place a row of glass underneath the second row of virtual planks. So once more, you know, just working your way around, place a row of glass. And then place an additional row of virtual planks underneath the glass. Like this. Now, here is where things differ. So I want you to take the middle part in particular and I want you to place two more rows of glass underneath the virtual plank. So that would be one row of glass and then we're going to chase that up with an additional row. We're then going to place regular birchwood stairs underneath this, like this. That's the middle. The sides we simply want to fill in using glass pane. So all the other empty spaces, we just fill them up with glass pane. That, that'll be that. Just like this. Now, once that has been completed, I now want you to grab the birchwood planks, or maybe even the smooth sandstone is a bit more appropriate here. And I want you to place smooth sandstone underneath the double wide gap at this part of the building. And extend that to the left and right by one. And then it would be quite beneficial if we could grab the sandstone slabs and place sandstone slabs all the way around it. And then we need the fence, and I'm just gonna place fence around that. Just like this. Perfect. So, all in all, once that has been done, I'll show you this top part more so than anything first, actually, because I, I don't wanna veer off too much. That's what we want to have the entire top part of the building. So far, at least this, this is what we have so far, right? This is what we want to have. That looks incredible. That's a really, really cool skyscraper. I, I really like. That's essentially what this is. Well, it's a giant apartment building, pretty much. But, you know, it's like a... It, it's pretty cool, anyway. It looks like a skyscraper. I really like it. Now, once you have done that, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to do the roof area. Because the roof area is a little bit complicated. It's very cool. So, I want you to, and this is tricky to do, I want you to place a row of upside down sandstone stairs, one row above and outwards in relation to the top of the building. 
Which is, it sounds like a difficult thing to understand, or at least it does to me. I, you know, whatever. But we want to have a row of upside down sandstone stairs that go- Oh, this is so difficult on this edition. And we want to place the upside down sandstone stairs going all the way around the top edge of the buildings. One row higher, one row outwards. And the reason that I'm getting so frustrated, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I'm still very, very new to bedrock building. And uh, it is still taking me quite a bit of time to adjust what you can do and what you can't do. And it's very sensitive as well, I find. I find, especially when you're placing stuff quickly, like this, it things can flip so easily. But that's what we want to have so far, alright? Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to grab the uh, smooth sandstone. And I'll anticipate that we will also need the sandstone slabs as well. And I want you to place two smooth sandstone coming upwards from each one of the four corners of this particular part of the building. And just to save you some frustration, not only do you want to raise up each one of the four corners by two, but you also want to connect them together. So what I would suggest is go to a corner, first corner, place one, two, on top, and then extend that second block in a direction, whichever direction it is, and then connect it down as you reach the corner. And then take that top block and then extend it across and do the same thing as you go around. Like extend it around and then connect it down rather than extending it upwards and connecting it together. The end result of which should look like this. Now once you have done that, the next thing that we want to do is we want to place a layer of birchwood planks that sits in between and inside the two empty spaces that we have at the top of this building. So, in between the uh, the single wide gap at the top of the build, in between the upside down stairs, oh no, the upside down stairs and the chiseled sandstone, the smooth sandstone, actually, um, we want to have birch wood planks just, uh, just, just in between them. And the effect is very cool, and that's why we did it, because it's a cool effect. Pretty much no other reason. <laughs> uh, we want to have something which would look exactly like this. Now, once that has been done, we want to then, this is, this is tricky again, leaving a gap of one, we want to have that same row of birchwood planks that goes all the way around the top of the building. So, leaving a gap of one, one, you know, one row above, essentially, we want to place a row of birchwood planks. So, it just goes all the way around the top of the building like this, and you will end up with a very, very cool uh, pattern at the top of the building once you have done this. And then the last part of this is actually placing a sandstone slab around the top of the birchwood plank. So sandstone slab around the top of the birchwood planks like this. It's uh, parallel to the chiseled sandstone and uh, it just creates a very, very, very cool effect once it's been done, you know. I just, I, I really like how it uh, ends up looking. So we will, boop, 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 boop. we will end up with something, I'm so bad, that looks exactly like this. Very much like the roof. I like the whole building, honestly. It's one of my favourites, despite the fact it's so huge. Uh, once you have reached this point right here, ladies and gents, you know, you've done a massive part of the build, right? But that's a really, really difficult part of the build, too. You know, that's the hardest part. Once you have reached this point right here, what we now have to do, and this is going to be a lot of off-screen editing, Okay, I'm going to suggest you bunch the smooth sandstone, the terracotta, and the birchwood planks all together. These materials, bunch them all together. Because I now want you to fill in the sides of the build, which are pretty just dead blank. Alright, the sides of the build. I want you to fill in the left side, the back, and the right side. They're all the same. Uh, and this is how you do it, alright? First, we divide up the sides. So, where you have the horizontal rows of sandstone, the smooth sandstone, in the front, we want those same horizontal rows um, through the building as well on the sides and the back. When I say sides, I do mean all of the sides other than the front. So, we want the same horizontal rows present throughout the entire build like this. Just like that. And the sad part of this, the annoying part of this, is that we also have to take, 
You know the pattern that we have on the front where we extend out all of the sandstone blocks? We want to have that same pattern on the sides. I mentioned this earlier, on each one of the four corners we want to have this pattern. Not only on the front, but also on the back, from top to bottom. Like this. But, once you have done that necessary preparation, everything else is quite easy, because... How did I end up with stairs instead of birchwood planks? The bottom part of the build, you want to fill in using birchwood planks. Then the middle part of the build, the middle three rows of the build, wants to be filled in with terracotta. So that would be two, and then this is the third row as well. This also has to be filled in with terracotta like this. But the top wants to be filled in with birchwood planks. So you can see how this is relevant. The bottom is filled in with birchwood planks, the top is filled in with birchwood planks, everything in between with terracotta. You still want that pattern that we have on the sides there, and it corresponds to what we have on the front, so you can see how it all goes together. And one last thing, something that I would also like you to do, because I'm, I'm obviously going to be going away. I cannot do this on recording, it's too much. I'm going to be filling in the top of the roof with smooth sandstone. You can either do that one row above, uh, or you can do it like one row. You can either do it like above like this, like level with the roof, or you could perhaps sink the roof one row lower so that you can kind of like walk around and it does create an additional level of depth and it's cool. So ladies and gentlemen, our path is very very clearly defined for us now. We apply the pattern to the sides of the building, we uh, make all of the same dividations as we did on the front, we fill it in with the relevant material, we also fill in the roof with sandstone. This will take a long 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 time cannot do it on recording i'm so sorry i can't it's gonna to take too long let's get started ladies and gents let's get this done roof done one side complete two sides and that ladies and gentlemen is the third side complete so i have completed all three sides as you can see as i am slowly scanning around the entire building all of them are identical so please pause the video if you need to i imagine you need to because that took me quite a while to complete myself not only did i do the three sides as well but i did also tackle the roof uh, which i just filled in with smooth sandstone one row below the actual top and uh, once you've completed all of those please again pause the video if necessary i'm going to ask that you gather these materials that i have in my hot bar so sandbrook stairs light gray concrete and sandstone slabs birch fence and once you have all these, we have to do this on both sides, by the way, the left and the right side of the build. I want you to come to the front of the building, come all the way down to the bottom front left-hand corner of the build, and I want you to, on the side, locate this block right here. This is the, like, the bottom front uh, corner of the building. So I want you to take the corner of the building right here and move backwards by five. That's one, two, three, four, five. And I want you to take this block and place a sideways stone brick stairs coming out from this block. The next goal is to take this stone brick stairs and place a diagonal row of stone brick stairs coming upwards that we will eventually come to the, uh, the horizontal row of sandstone that we placed earlier. So the end point is right here. I then want you to place three light grey concrete coming back from that last stone brick stairs. One, two, three. So we will end up with something that should look exactly like this, ladies and gentlemen. Now, once you have done this once, I want you to come all the way to the very first stair, follow it upwards, and I want you to find the sandstone, the smooth sandstone above it, I want you to place a light grey concrete in front of that sandstone and then place a sideways stone brick stairs in front of it. So you'll end up with this directly above the first stair. It's just uh, we place the light grey concrete in front of the sandstone, sideways stair on top. We then subsequently place stone brick stairs until we eventually get all the way up to the next level of uh, the 
ch uh, the chisel sandstone. We place three light grey concrete behind. One, two, three. Like that. And we repeat that pattern. We, we actually keep repeating that pattern over and over and over and over and over again until we eventually do hit the top. So, like, we'll take the previous first stair that we have here, we'll follow it upwards, place a light grey concrete here, and I'm going to keep following up light grey concrete here, and then a light grey concrete here. And I, I think that you guys will be able to see kind of like what we're up to now, right? So we've placed all of those light grey concretes, and then we will place the stairs on top of them. And we'll place a diagonal row of stairs. You guys know exactly how stairs work. We'll place a diagonal row of stairs coming all the way up until we eventually reach each individual level. So like here. And then this one might actually be like, we'll probably have to come back further with the stairs this particular time. Because um, we have, uh, because it's a little bit different. Uh, as it's a higher level than the others and this this should be the last one actually there shouldn't be another row after this But yeah, these stairs come back a little bit further on that one and uh, Yeah, there they actually shouldn't even be light gray concrete actually they, they should be light gray concrete here because uh, we actually have to make the platforms But you'll see that we'll end up with this right here, right? And not only do we want to have this on this side of the build But we are going to come to the opposite side of the building and I want you to do the same thing so on the front right hand corner of the building this time, we'll start with this uh, sandstone here. I want you to move backwards from this sandstone and I want you to move back by five. One, two, three, four, five. And then place a sideways, uh, a sideways stone brick stair. And this time I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to place all of the light grey concretes which will be the starting points for all of these stairs. Like this. So those are the starting points for all of the stairs, and then all I have to do is I just have to make all of those diagonal stairs on the side of the building. So very, very simple. It's the exact same thing that we did on the opposite side, and uh, once we've completed it, it will look like what we have on, on the opposite side over there. But... I don't want to do all of this on recording, because this actually will require a lot of work. You know, eventually we will end up on this side, we will eventually end up with something that should look exactly like this, right? But beyond this is what I want to talk about. So, I want to, on this side of the build, I want you to take every single, single light grey concrete that we have that we start the stairs, you extend that grey concrete to the right by one, coming up the side of the building, right? You extend that light grey concrete all the way to the right, just by one, very, very simple like that. And then you extend the light grey concretes two rows outwards. One, two. And then you extend those light grey concretes backwards. And you connect them to the back part of the stairs. So like the row of grey concrete that we placed earlier. We then fill in the light grey concrete rows leaving enough room for us to actually walk up and down the stairs. It's, it's probably about either two, two spaces like that, so that we can get up and down those stairs. We also want to place light grey concrete underneath the stairs, just so that they're kind of reinforced, you know? We don't, we don't want to be falling off of stuff and what have you, so we just want to reinforce the stairs a little bit. We also want to place sandstone slabs around each one of the platforms like this. And we also want to place birch fence like this around the platforms. So this is essentially what we want to do to every single step of the stairs. And I can see that on the last two set of stairs I forgot to place um, light grey concrete coming behind, but it's uh, one, two, three. And the top one's a little bit different, we just have to make sure that the top one ends in the same place as the others. So, something like that. Just make sure that the stairs are the same width as each other. But the, the point still stands. So, you take this sticky out light grey concrete, you extend it one, two towards you, and then you extend it to the left, connect it to the left, 
you fill in the middle part as much as you can uh, without making it so that you can't walk up and down the stairs. So you leave, what, two blocks, something like that. That might actually not be enough. I might have to do another one there. Can I? Nope, just have to destroy an additional block. Just make sure you can walk up and down the stairs. We then place a sandstone slab around the fire escapes, because that's what these are, the stairs, are, the fire escapes like this. And I'm also going to place fence on the fire escapes as well, on top of these sandstone slabs. And uh, there's two more little bits of detail that, uh, that we have to do. We also have to place light grey concrete underneath the stairs, like this, come in all the way up to um, all of the sides. You know, I've got a, th there's a lot to do here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, this is this is a very lengthy tutorial. There's a lot to do, and uh, not only do we want to do all of those things, but we will also want to place sandstone slab. Where you place a sandstone slab on the side of the building, around the fire escapes, we also want to place sandstone slab going all the way around the entire building. Now, we can't do this very well here, because uh, we, we actually don't have the fire escapes made on this particular side, but the sandstone actually does want to come back. Uh, the sandstone will want to completely wrap around the entire building like this. So once you have made the fire escapes, this will be a much better way to do it. But uh, I want to show you now because I want to I want to cut away and I want to, uh, you know, I want to get all of this done um, off of recording. But, you know, you want to place the row of sandstone slabs all the way around the build like this. So, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that I have gotten that across and... Uh, I've, I've got to finish this, so I'm going to complete all of the fire escapes, and then I'll be back. And this is what the fire escape areas will look like once you have fully completed them. Very, very simple. I'm sure that you guys will manage to do them once you have figured out how to do one. It is very, very easy to repeat that over and over and over again. And the cool thing about it is once you have completed those fire escapes, ladies and gentlemen, I've got some great news! And this is what your entire build will look like once it's been 100% fully completed. This is the Fix-It Felix arcade building. I do hope that you guys have managed to make this no problem. It is a very long build, but it's, it's such a cool one, and it really does stand out in your worlds. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, ladies and gents, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, as it does help me and the channel out very, very much. If you have managed to make it all all the way this far, and if you have managed to make this thing, I'd really appreciate it if you could also uh, share the video with a friend. Sharing is caring. If you want to subscribe and click the little bell, that'll ensure that you get to keep up to date with the channel and whatever we are building next. I almost ran into Danny Phantom's building. And that'll keep you up to date with what we are building next on the channel. And of course, if you do want to check out anything else that we have made on the channel as well, you know, whether you want to make some more Disney builds such as the Toy Story house or some SpongeBob stuff, the SpongeBob builds playlist is available for you as well. You know, all, all of my cartoon builds, we have such a massive variety. We have the incredible house down there. Check that all out in the card system and the description below. Ladies and gents, I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of you so, so, so much. Thank you so much for all the support that this channel's been getting recently. I hope that you like this build too. I'll check you guys out in the next one. Goodbye!